Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation TV. If it's your first time to come across this channel, please don't hesitate to press on the notification and the subscribe button. In today's video, we want us to talk about a VC visa. Yes, most of you think about VC visa as the alternative to come to these Gulf countries. Yes, it is true. It may be a hundred percent to some people, right? It may not be a hundred percent to some people. To, uh, to other people yes right still what we can say some people may find it a little bit con uh, convenient for them some other people may not find it convenient why because we all differ in what we call the resources oh some people may have the money some other people may not have the money but remember when we are talking about the visit visa definitely you are not assured that you'll have the job for yourself but how definitely to move up to that Gulf country to find out luck for yourself to try to try out the luck by yourself other than using what you call a manpower or an agents or recruitment agents to do for you in today's video we want us to look at why some people are denied what you call the visit visa especially to the Gulf countries I think that that came in uh, a question as in the comment section and I said Definitely, I need to let you know of some of those things that I think that may let you be denied what you call a visa visa, especially when you are going to these Gulf countries. Yes, as I said, some who have the money hope to go to the visa to, to use the visa visa, and those that do not have the money, they hope to use what you call the manpower agencies, because they probably everything will be done in case that opportunity is there everything will be done for you by your sponsor although you'll have an attachment at the end of it all with your sponsor until you finish up the contract therefore there are 10 reasons why you may be denied a visa visa if you are going to saudi arabia if you think the visa visa is open for saudi arabia Qatar to UAE, Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Dubai, when you're going to UAE, then also if you're going to Bahrain, if you're going to Kuwait, depending on which Gulf country you're going to, and you feel your country has a visa waiver with that country, or with that Gulf country, and you can access the visa. Some of, some of the visa visas you either apply online, or you'll have what you call the visas on arrival. That is, it will depend on how your country has ties or what you call the visa v, uh, v waiver with that country. So definitely, all those lacks and all those terms come in narratively with the, the kind of opportunity that you're going to look for at that time. But however, the following are the 10 reasons. That way, you may be denied what you call a visa. You may be denied a visa. One, first of all, if you don't identify the, t the type of visa, if you do not identify that type of visa, that means you will be denied that visa. You will be denied. You need to specify what kind of visa. Is it a visa visa? Is it a working visa? Is it a visa? You know, you definitely, a family visa, you need to identify. Let it be that you are filling that form online. For that case, you need to identify. Let it be you have to access the visa on arrival. It, if that country or your country of origin has a visa waiver with that country, definitely the consular or the immigration officer will ask you. And you definitely need to give out the answer that corresponds to what you, you are being asked or corresponding to what you're going to do in that country. Number two, if you did not specify the type, the purpose of the travel, yes. We have to trust if, to, to, to specify. For example, if you are going to that country for, uh, to, for a business, definitely you need to, uh, to, to, to identify the purpose. Because definitely they will identify or they will ask you, what is the purpose of the visa? What is the purpose? What is your purpose of coming to this country? You need to specify. You need to tell them exactly what you are coming to do in this country or what you are coming to do in their country, which is quite very mandatory for that case. So most of the people take this one as something very light and something very, very, very small. But definitely they will deny you what you call a visa visa if you do not specify that purpose that you want that visa for. Then also we say, if you have what you call weak ties to the sponsor, the person who is sponsoring you, if you have weak ties, 
let's say I'm, I'm the son of the grandfather, father and father. That is, that is definitely d d does not entitle you to, to, to have the visa for this sponsor to, sponsor to, to give you the visa or sponsor you your visa. So that means you'll be denied. That is why sometimes when you're asking for this visa or family visa, they will definitely ask which kind of ties, proof to show the ties that you have with this sponsor. Is your mother by blood? Is your father by blood? Is your, your, your son or daughter? They will definitely ask you to have documents to prove out. They will ask you documents to support that. Always don't approve the documents. Legate documents will support that to give you the visa in case you have to specify the ties you have with that person. Then also, another, another point is no, you don't have a clear proof of returning to the country of your origin. Most of the time what is being asked is that the, most of the visa, visa, they will definitely ask you to, to have what you call a return ticket back to your country. Because you are telling them you are visiting for a given period of time. So they assume, they assume that after that visit period in that country, you will have to return back to your country. You are not going to stay in that country legally. That is why normally they normally ask a two-way ticket for you to book a two-way ticket. To some countries, they even go an extra mile to ask you to have what you call a hotel booking for that case. And to some countries, they also ask you to have what you call a health insurance for that duration of the time that you're going to stay in that country. So meaning that as you prepare yourself to go to that country, definitely know, find out the most, find out all the requirements that you're supposed to possess. Find the requirements. Go, search and find. If you need to go to the consult in your country, with that country, go and find out all the requirements such that you are not turned out in one way or the other then also insufficient financial records if you don't have enough financial records on your bank account definitely to some countries they will not give you what you call this visa visa they will do not accept your visa visa because you don't prove eligible to live in that country and you don't prove eligible to be able to take care of your, yourself in that country most of these countries, when it comes to this visa, they don't want you to be a liability. They do not want you to be a liability. They don't want you to be a convenience to their country, a dependent. They need to prove out that you have enough resources that are going to take care of you with that period of the time that you're going to stay in that country. That is why sometimes they normally tell you, we need a bank statement that contains a given amount of money let's say $3,000 or $2,000 for a given period and that bank statement or that bank account must have stayed there with the bank for a given period of maybe six months with the bank and with the droid. That is normally, it is just trying to test the financial ability that you have or the financial ability that you're going to be able to take care of yourself or to take care of yourself when you go to that country other than becoming uh, becoming uh, a dependent on the company, on, on what you call the country's resources. Then also, not having what you call enough financial, enough travel records. Yes, this is always very important. Yes, you have the passport. You have the vaccination. Yes, there are other documents that you are supposed to attach to some countries if you want a visa visa. You are supposed to attach some given document. If they need a vaccination card, they will need a vaccination card that has either the three doses or the two days doses of the vaccine that are taken to prove out that you are vaccinated. Some countries, they will say we need a vaccination card or we need to you to show that you are vaccinated. But we need a proof with what we call a QR code because it will be very easy to scan to get the details of you. If they need to have you a specific other document, then definitely you'll have those documents to attach but if you don't have those documents with you and you can't prove that those documents are in possession of you they'll definitely will deny you what you call a visa visa in those countries then also you do not have enough information yes where you are going what you are going to do 
definitely they will ask you yes you are going for a visit in this country what are you going to do what are you planning to do where are you planning to go most of those questions those are questions from the immigration officers they normally ask such kind of questions they are not asking those questions to 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 to, to stop you from going or to stop you from giving you the visa but they want to understand clearly what is the mindset of this person why what is the exact purpose why this person is going normally the immigration officers normally ask that question and if you start tamaring of start tamaring with that with 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 what you have to what you're going to do in that country or what where you don't know where you're going you don't even know the address of the person you're going to definitely sometimes you find these people get so suspicious and they do not accept you or well, they will not accept your visa uh, your visa uh, your visa visa and they will definitely reject you at all then also if incomplete what you call another one is incomplete and fake result or fake documents yes most of us we do use what you call fake documents for the fake documents definitely that one has caused very many people trouble when it comes to these visas especially when you go to the some of the countries are very strict that's what i can let you know some of these countries are very strict that they will definitely ask of you those documents and they will need definitely to verify the documents if you find them very serious with the document they will very they will want to verify the document and once they get to get out any irregularity within your document then definitely they will deny you and to some countries to some countries they will definitely even also tend to ban you off because already you've given your passport number meaning that you're going to that country to fake out and you're going to be someone who's going to inconvenience or someone who's going to cause trouble in that country so definitely they will not accept you in one way or the other then also we look at what you call visa application demand for some other reasons yes you may have some other application that may be attached to what you are requesting if it is a visa visa yes if there's an additional requirement you are supposed to attach definitely they will need you to attack that document and if you don't attack that document that means at that time they will not approve your visa especially for people applying on visas online make sure that wherever you are applying is being asked or apply every single detail that is asked of you please give the details give if there is an attachment that is needed out of you give that attachment because they will need it they will need it to process your visa and they will need to identify which kind of person they are dealing with which kind of person they are giving permission to enter their country so definitely that's what normally happens in one way or the other hope i've tried to elaborate and hope i've tried to give you exactly what is supposed to be so when you're planning to have a visa visa to some of these countries definitely what you need to know is that you need to be a little bit very strict or you need to be very very sensitive or you need to be very 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 careful whatever you have to feel and whatever you have to do because normally what comes at one way or the other is it will just definitely they definitely it's either going to to they are either going to deny your visa or they are going to approve your visa thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember it's mixed to from the mixed creation if it's your first time i keep on telling you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell such that you'll always be updated wherever i have to drop in something brand new for in the comment section please don't hesitate please drop in a comment i'll always get back to you thank you so much see you again in the next